Welcome to a new video. Today we'll be taking a look at yet another cheap radiation detector and it's going to be very similar to the one reviewed in uh, Volog 416 except this one is even cheaper. It's also not as big physically and it's not like a multi-function tester like this one. Uh, it just measures radiation. Uh, but let's start with our basics. This is the uh, packaging it comes in. And inside the box, uh, you'll find this uh, hard shell carry case, which is a nice addition when compared to the previous uh, model I reviewed, which didn't have any carry case. And by the way, this one doesn't really have any branding or any particular model mentioned on the uh, unit or on the packaging. It's just a generic radiation tester. But because of that, I would imagine that it's likely you'll find this uh, being sold under different names, maybe uh, different brands or maybe even in a different shape, but with the same electronics. Inside the case, the meter does have a uh, cutout so it, it sits rather uh, nicely in here being protected by the hard shell and uh, also included with the meter you get this uh, very short uh, charging USB-C cable and a uh, hand strap also in the box there is a uh, short user manual uh, with the usual Chinglish like mentioned this is smaller physically uh, which could be a nice advantage uh, but this also comes with a smaller screen when compared to the other Geiger counter I reviewed. In terms of build quality we have a couple of uh, rubber bands uh, over molded on the sides of the enclosure. Uh, we have this uh, metal uh, clip on the back. Uh, the charging port is located on the bottom and is protected by this small rubber door. Plastic feels uh, soft and uh, decent quality. It's matte black. I quite like that. I'm gonna put the specs of uh, the unit on screen while I mentioned that this unit was offered for free by Banggood.com for the purpose of this review. And right now there is a high demand for uh, these, but it shows in stock on Banggood.com. Mine, for example, has a date code of April 2022 and I believe I received it in May 2022 if I remember this correctly so they must have been manufacturing a lot of these during these times. Should you decide to get one after watching this review make sure to check out the description of this video for a link of this product and a special discount code. On paper at least this one seems to have slightly better sensitivity when compared to the previous model I reviewed uh, but realistically given the size and cost of the unit I think it must be using a similar a similar miniaturized uh, Geiger Mueller tube which is not the most sensitive tube for this type of application but it does have the size and cost advantage and we'll be able to see more about that in the teardown uh, but first let's turn on the unit. The screen on this unit feels a bit small at just uh, 2 inches and let me just peel off this uh, protective film. Yep, it's much nicer now. Still, it's a glossy screen so you'll get a bunch of uh, reflection off of this and like I was telling, it, it feels like a small screen at just 2 inches and in, in if, you, if we go into the reading mode I mean, th there are these nice big seven segment fonts being used, but the small text, for example, on the blue ribbons, kind of small and uh, it's not easily read from a distance. On the plus side, brightness seems very good on this. It's easily visible even under my very bright video shooting lights. The problem is more apparent when you uh, switch to the menu system, which kind of feels really crowded but they went with this uh, thumbnail arrangement the icon feels uh, the icons feel small the text feels small and I, I would have probably preferred just a, like a simple uh, list menu for this with maybe some bigger uh, text. Now before we continue with the review of this unit let me mention the sponsor of the video PCBWay.com a professional PCB manufacturer with excellent quality and fast turnaround times. You can get more than PCBs manufactured with PCB weight. They also do PCB assembly, injection molding, 3D printing, machining various parts. So you can have an entire prototype built using their services. 
Right now, PCBWay are celebrating their 8th anniversary, so there is a chance for you to get some benefits like discount codes and coupons for free. Check out their website linked below. In terms of functionality, you get this standard measure and display screen, uh, but you also have the option of uh, setting up like the alarm thresholds in this menu and the meter can continue monitoring with the screen off for up to 20 days of battery life and it will trigger an alarm once the threshold is exceeded. It lets you configure the screen off timeout as well as the auto power off timeout which is nice and it can also do some uh, data logging if you go into the uh, records menu you should be able to visualize any of the recordings that you have done but i have not seen any mention of the available memory a couple of other settings for uh, things like uh, language or the measurement units are available a couple of other settings for things like language or screen brightness are also available from the menu system turning the unit on or off via long press of this button uh, will make a beep which is annoying but i guess useful to alert the user of the meter status the good thing is that you do have control over the buzzer volume level as well as the option of turning on or off the individual uh, particle uh, tick sounds so that's pretty nice in in terms of available settings unfortunately i still don't have like a good radiation source to test this so apart from uh, this ion chamber from a smoke detector um, i don't have anything else but upon testing with this uh, it does seem to be i don't know i wouldn't call it more sensitive it just seem to it just seems to respond faster to um, detecting these particles when compared to the previous meter and I can get some values on screen faster and I can have it go past one microsieverts and trigger uh, its default alarm threshold which you can hear right now and it's flashing the red LED. I'm sure most of you are already wondering how uh, this meter looks on the inside so I would be interested in uh, taking this apart and check out the tube it uses for detection. Upon taking this apart, there are a couple of interesting surprises in here. First, I'll, I'll mention that the sides of the case are actually separate pieces made from this soft rubber. They're not over molded as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the uh, battery seems to be composed of uh, two parallel lithium uh, polymer pouches for a total of uh, 1800 milliamp hours and it just sits nicely in this uh, protective slot and we do notice there is a battery uh, protection circuit on the pack itself and the nice touch is that we have this uh, JST connector so that we could easily disconnect the battery from the circuit if we wanted to. The next surprise in here is the main microcontroller, uh, which is a PIC32. Now, this is not something I would expect in a product like this. I mean, PIC32s, I believe, are more expensive and then you run into supply issues if you can't find them in stock, whereas an STM32 or more specifically a clone would be more widely available and cheaper right now in China. But I don't know, maybe they had like a big supply of these uh, or maybe these are clones as well, I don't know, because I haven't used a PIC microcontroller in like more than 10 years. Performance-wise, these PIC32s were pretty nice a few years back, plenty of horsepower to drive something like a 2-inch TFT. In this section, this is our uh, high-voltage boost circuit, and the next surprise we have in here is our Geiger-Muller tube, which... Uh, is one I couldn't easily identify. It has the markings which say HH442 202201, which must be a date code of January uh, 2022. This one is actually uh, physically longer than the two we had in the um, previous meter that I reviewed so this could explain the higher sensitivity we have on this unit but I could not find any information online about this uh, H442 tube so this could be a uh, newer tube that they make in China if you have any information about this tube 
please let me know in the comments below. Overall, the uh, PCB assembly job on, on this unit uh, looks pretty nice. It has a nice PCB layout and I quite, I quite like what I'm seeing here. And to be honest, it's not much circuitry at all, which is probably the, uh, the reason they can afford to sell this one for cheaper. So now with the meter back together, let me give you some final thoughts on this. It's certainly not a professional piece of gear. You probably wouldn't use something like this if you're the tour guide for the Chernobyl site, for example. But for personal use, I think you can get some decent results with something like this. Probably not good enough for any absolute measurements, but likely good enough for alerting you of some abnormal radiation levels uh, without any extra functionality. The menu system, like I showed, can have small text in some areas, which makes it hard to read, uh, but the general measurement screen has a pretty good font. So overall, I would say it's pretty usable and the menu system was very intuitive. I didn't need the user manual at all to learn how to use this. And the brightness of the screen is also quite high and nice for visibility outdoors. Now, if you're looking to order this meter, I encourage you to check out the link in the description below and the provided discount code. That was all for today. Thank you for watching this. And if you enjoy my videos, you can help support the channel with as little as $1 per month via Patreon, or you can just hit that like button, which is free, but still helps a lot.